What up? What's happening? What it do? It's your boy Big Trail. Big Trail's broadcast. Give yourself a round of applause, please. Clap for yourself. Always clap for yourself. Be your number one cheerleader. If nobody believes in you, believe in yourself. That's it, man. We're going to get into this clip because I remember this. This happened in 2022 back in Denver, Colorado, where you know I moved from. I currently reside in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Hey, or Atlanta, Georgia, wherever you, outskirts of Atlanta, whatever you want to call it. But this is from it's called Law and Crime Network. It, that's the that's the YouTube channel, Law and Crime Network. This is 78 year old woman wrongfully raided by SWAT team wins 3.76 million dollars. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we're not going to, you know, delay this any further. Let's get into it. And we'll, you know, commentate throughout it. So they got a search warrant for your house, okay? There was some evidence that they believe is in the house. This SWAT team visit is worth $3.8 million. Love it. According to Colorado jurors, that hefty verdict was just handed down to the 78-year-old woman whose home was wrongly searched, all thanks to the Find My iPhone app. Uh. See, I see stuff like this on the movie, but I didn't think it ever happened. <laughs> this body camera video was taken on January 4th, 2022. That's when Denver police SWAT teams rushed to the home of Ruby Johnson. Wow. Johnson, a retired grandmother, says she had just gotten out of the shower. And then again, the SWAT team could have got some bad intel. You know, you can't blame it completely on the SWAT team, but it's the people who actually have the intel that gave to the SWAT team. So whoever that is, that's who has to be blamed for this. So I know the SWAT probably embarrassed and they you know they try to laugh with her and all that but now nah, y'all getting sued the the lady she was sitting there she was joking and laughing and no oh, yeah this never happened but her family probably came and said no nah, granny you got you about to get paid let's get this money let's get this money shower when she heard a command from a she was in a shot she just got out the shower telling anyone inside the house to come out with their hands up Denver police approached Johnson's home with a warrant in hand for a laundry list of stolen items, including a truck, several semi-automatic handguns, a rifle, revolver, two drones, $4,000 in cash, and an iPhone. Investigators used the well, at least they weren't dumb enough to like tackle her. Older people be getting abused by cops. It's crazy. At least they weren't dumb enough to tackle her and put her in handcuffs or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Be rough with her. They probably once they saw her, they probably realized they made a mistake, but shoot, it was too late. Find my iPhone app to track the stolen goods to Johnson's home. The only problem, Johnson hadn't stolen anything. Body camera video shows Denver officers speak with Johnson, who came outside in only a bathrobe. Officers explain they have a warrant to search her home. At least they didn't break her door down. <laughs> so nobody else is in the house, man? No, nobody else is in the house. Okay, there's a, so they got a search warrant for your house, okay? There was some evidence that they believe is in the house. That's when Johnson tells the officer she lives there alone. She says there's no one else inside because she keeps her doors locked. Huh. So I'm going to walk you over there and we're going to talk to some detectives, okay? Once we can make some more announcements, just give me a minute and make, double check that nobody else snuck in the house on you, okay? Okay. What's your name, ma'am? I in the house because I keep my doors locked. Yeah. Good for you. I'm so many here by myself. Oh, you are? Okay. My name is Ruby Johnson. Okay, Miss Johnson, just give us a second and then I'll get you over to those detectives, okay? Okay. They know. Oh, my God. They're trying to be so nice. I mean, not saying that they're not nice people, but they know that they messed up. They're like, if she lives here by herself, we done messed up. And whoever gave it us intel, they, they really messed up. But the SWAT is out there, so they're the ones who's going to catch all the slack. You know, they're looking, they looking real stupid right now. So. <laughs> it 
It's then that Johnson laughs in what appears to be disbelief as officers joke about making her a movie star. I mean, I see stuff like this on the movie, but I didn't <laughs> think it ever happened. Well, we knew you were a star, so we were going to make you a movie star today. <laughs> the next pieces of body camera capture officers discussing whether they believe Johnson is telling the truth. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> All of them, automatic. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. She ain't do that. Now you never know. A grandson could have came by and dropped some stuff off or, or whatever. But she lives there by herself. I don't know if she said nobody comes to visit. I don't. I don't know. But you know, she could have had a grandson or a son who who stopped by regularly and and put stuff maybe in her backyard or in her garage or something. Now, After that, SWAT officers approach. The they're going to make sure it's empty. Wow. At least they didn't damage any property as of yet. So that's good. Inside, the officers begin their search, looking through the home and walking down the stairs. Additional body camera video shows officers outside using a bolt cutter to break off the lock of John. Why did they ask if she had a key for that? Dang. Like, now she got to go buy a new lock. I mean, I'm just glad they haven't, they didn't tear her door down or anything like that, but... They could have asked if she had a key. Not sure if she did or not. You know what I mean? Not sure if they asked or not. But yeah, they could have done that. She probably had a key right on her key ring. Like, here you go. They're hoping to find some stuff in there. They're hoping to find a bunch of stuff in that shed. Yeah, they're hoping to find some stuff. <laughs> Nothing. Christmas trees lawnmower just regular normal stuff good man yeah ain't nothing in there pay grandma pay her pay but grandma after searching inside the shed officers come up empty handed mm -hmm. it's clear what are y'all breaking down what are See why? Do, I don't know what they're smashing. Are they? Is is the door blocked or something? Like I'm sure she has a key. Whatever they're trying to smash down. Next, officers speculate whether Johnson's son could be the suspect in the case. Oh my god! Did they, is her son like? Did they run Told you. Is he a criminal? Is a better way to put it. Then officers seemingly question whether Johnson's grandchildren could be suspect. There they go. The case. They ask her about this as she sits in the back of a squad car. Miss Johnson, mm -hmm. do you have any uh, grandkids over recently? Do I have, did I have any? Yeah, like did yesterday. Oh no. 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 Okay. Here we go. Meanwhile, the search inside Johnson's home continues. Oh, that's, see, just on the damage stuff now. Now they're starting to damage stuff. At first, I thought they are. I thought they already went through the house, but now they're going through and they're damaging walls here, a door there, things like that. So definitely, she definitely getting paid. Now they're hoping they find something. They are hoping to find something now. Yeah, 
I turned this woman's house At up. one point, as officials search what appears to be Johnson's attic, they note there's dust on the panels, meaning no one has been up there recently. Man, what you standing on? Finally, the Denver SWAT team calls it quits. They found none of the stolen Nothing. goods on Johnson's property. How much stuff did they break? How much of granny stuff did y'all break? That's what we want to know. So, the American Civil Liberties Union announced the 3.8 million yes. dollar verdict in Johnson's favor on Monday of this week. Broken down, that's more than one million dollars in compensatory damages yeah. and two and a half million dollars in punitive damages. Yes. The jury ruled two Denver police officers violated the Colorado Constitution. Oh wow! Saying there was not probable cause to issue the search warrant in Johnson's case. The Denver Police Department was not sued in this case. Reporting for Long Crime. Dang. It looked like it's just a big mistake, but you have to you have to vet your sources. You have to you have to dot your P's and Q's because we see too many times where SWAT teams go into the wrong home. They have the wrong address or they just, you know, there's no evidence. There's no reason for them to be at whatever the house they're at. And we know that happens a lot, but I'm sh sure it doesn't happen that much, but it, it happens enough to where it's a problem. And you have to vet, you have to double check, dot your I's, cross your T's, but I'm glad that Granny got her money. Um, now she can live a comfortable life. Hopefully she can help out her family before she passes. And hopefully the family doesn't fight for her money. That's the whole thing. Because when money get involved, people will be doing some crazy stuff. But it's your boy, it's your Big, boy, Trail. Big Trail. Big Trail. Big Trail. Let's get it. Get it. Three, two, one.